Solving basic absolute value equations. Recall that an absolute value function can be thought of as a piecewise function, where a different function is assigned for each piece of the domain, split by the positive and negative parts. Given the equation 3 times the absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3, I should first solve for the absolute value, as that will help make more clear the functions involved in the piecewise function. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us absolute value of x minus 2 equals 1. Now, according to what we know about absolute value functions, the bit on the inside of the absolute values could be either positive one or negative one, and we should consider both. If it's equal to positive one, then x is three. If it's equal to negative one, then x is one. These are my two solutions for the equation. I can go back to the original equation to check them both. I might also have x's on the outside of the absolute value symbol, but the method is the same. Give an absolute value of 2x minus 11 equals x minus 4. I should see what happens when 2x minus 11 equals x minus 4, as well as when 2x minus 11 equals negative x plus 4, the negative version. When we set it equal to the positive version, x equals 7. When we set it equal to the negative version, x equals 5. I check my solutions again, and they work. These were two examples of finding the solution to absolute value equations. You could also solve absolute value equations that only have one solution or no solutions.